हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द एथ चैप्टर ऑफ बेसिक फोटोग्राफी वर्कशॉप बाय पीयूष पांडे फिल्म्स टुडे वील गो आउट एंड लर्न स्पोर्ट्स फोटोग्राफी एंड वील लर्न हाउ टू शूट द फास्ट मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स वील लर्न द टेक्निक ऑफ पैनिंग व्हिच इज वास्टली यूज इन स्पोर्ट्स फोटोग्राफी सो लेट्स गो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी लर्न स्पोर्ट्स फोटोग्राफी सो राइट नाउ वी आर स्टैंडिंग एट द साइड ऑफ द रोड एंड वी लर्न दिस टेक्निक कॉल्ड एज पैनिंग Panning is a technique which is widely used in sports photography. It is a technique used when we want the moving object to look as if it is moving but we still want the image to be sharp. Now suppose we are shooting this vehicles right which are passing in front of us. So they will look sharp as well as they will look as if it is moving. And also the background the background will be streaky. It will not be blur it will be streaky. right like horizontal streaks so today we learn horizontal panning there are different types of panning horizontal panning vertical panning diagonal panning right so today we learn horizontal panning now how to do panning <coughs> panning is moving your camera along with your subject suppose the vehicle suppose that auto is coming right so i'll fix my spot focus on the auto and i'll focus it focus it and then click it you can see this photo the auto is sharp also it looks like it is moving and the background is streaky it is horizontal streak so you can see in the image that the bike is moving but still it is sharp the background is blur it is streaky now what are the techniques behind panning what are the settings in your camera so the first setting is shutter speed keep your shutter speed from 1 by 40 second to 1 by 60 second So right now I have kept my shutter speed to 1 by 40 second. Your f-stop should be between 5.6 to 8. Then ISO should be from 100 to 200. Now I'll keep my spot focus at the center. You can see the spot focus is at center. I'll move from right to left in such a way that my speed of turning and the speed of the vehicle is the same. The center spot focus should be on the subject only. on your vehicle only and then only the image will come sharp also it will come as if it is moving now again you have to keep your shooting mode in the continuous shooting mode let's see some of the vehicles are coming from that side so what i'll do is i'll look through the viewfinder only and i'll see which vehicle to shoot the speed at which you move depend on the speed of the vehicle so if the vehicle is slow moving you move slow but your focus point should be at the center only right so you can see many photos like this now this is your end point so be comfortable on your end point stand like this okay straight and then turn like this don't stand like this and then turn like this right stand like this straight and then turn your upper body and then turn like this if you stand like this and then turn like this so your camera will shake there is a possibility that your camera will shake so what we'll do is we'll stand like this right and then we'll just turn our upper body to the right hand side right from like this and then we'll click the photo so right now a person will come running towards us and we'll take the photo okay so let's see As we have seen that we have taken the photo in a fast shutter speed and we have captured the moment. So let's take another photo and I'll show you the photos after we take it. You can see the photos, right? Because of the fast shutter speed, right? The photos have come really sharp. So now we'll take the same running photo in different way. We'll pan them. we have learned the technique called as panning so we can even do it here also let's see how we can do panning in this case so what i'll do is i'll keep my shutter speed to around 1 by 40 right now as it is very bright what i'll do is i'll increase my f stop because i need to cut my light so i'll keep it to around 16 and i'll keep my iso to around 200 
has come so beautiful, right? She is running. She has come sharp, and the background is totally blurred. So this is how we can take panning. He is running. He looks as if he is in motion, and he has come sharp, and the background is totally blurred. So this is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this chapter. I'll see you in the next chapter. Thank you.